What's up everybody? This is your girl EJ and really quickly before we get started, it's time for black history. My paternal grandfather, who is still alive by the way, um, was the first person I'd heard uh, say, I bet you eat it before it eats you. That was in reference to, oh no, I don't want this bologna. I don't want these beans. And he would say, I bet you eat them before they eat you. At some, at some point, <laughs> if you really hungry, <laughs> you'll eat it. And when you do, it'll still be before they eat you. Now, like I said, my grandfather is still alive. Uh, he is the grandfather of many, 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 many. It's, it's a whole bunch of us. So I never got to experience him saying it to me, but I have heard the stories and I do reference it from time to time when my kids be acting like they too good to eat some. <laughs> I bet you eat it for eat you. And that's our moment in black history. All right, so really quickly, we're gonna talk about Miss Kiara Sheard. She is the daughter of gospel great uh, Karen Clark Sheard, who is also the daughter of gospel great Dr. Maddie Moss. It's a lot of legacy in this is what I'm saying. So anyway, she was recently in the news. And by recently, I mean two weeks ago, but y'all know my consistency has been trash. We're moving right along. <laughs> so she was in the news and by news, I do mean like blogs and stuff because she said that her friends can't come stay the night with her. Uh, if her friends come and visit, she would gladly put them up in a hotel room instead of being in the house with her husband. Now, by the time certain blogs got through with it, it sounded like, oh, I don't trust nobody around my man. And oh, my man be looking, so I don't wanna make it easy for him. And it really wasn't like that. All she was saying was, you have to be careful who you let in your home, who you let around your husband. And you know, if I do have some friends come, I would gladly put them in a, a hotel where they would be more comfortable anyway. You know, where they can walk around in their, their lingerie uh, they flip flops, you know, maybe have your nipples out and things like that. Cause you can't do that around my husband, but you, you can do it at the Holiday Inn. What's wrong with that? First of all, I didn't understand what all the hoopla was about because for one, for one, she's born and raised in Church of God in Christ and Church of God in Christ is going to teach you, if nothing else, how to be a wife. You, you, <laughs> you might don't know how to spell. Okay. Hey, they not, they not grammar police. Okay. You might don't know how to <laughs> It's a lot of stuff you might not learn how to do. But being a wife is something that they have very open conversations about in Church of God in Christ. So it, it was not a surprise to me that her mom said something like this to her. Hey, be careful who you have around your husband. But if you come out of the church, I feel like the principle is still the same. You don't have to be like a church person or, or a coachy person to say, oh, no, uh-uh. No, uh-uh, mm-mm. Because why she here, Ike? If we reflect honestly, I'm sure all of us can remember a time where a best friend or a friend or someone close in the family ended up sleeping with their family members or best friends, man. If you don't know nobody, I'm just saying, let's be honest. Like, is it you? Did, did, did you do it? If you can't think of nobody, if it's not you, we, we all saw Cousin Faith. We saw Cousin Faith. It's 2022. If you don't want to even open up certain things, if you don't even want to give like a space for certain things to possibly happen, I don't see anything wrong with putting a friend up in a hotel. Now, what I will ask is why can they put their own self in a hotel? Do you have like a holiday, holiday in rewards membership or something? Like, why do I have to pay? I'm not going to pay for your hotel. Now, what I, I will tell you where the good ones at. I, I will tell you where the best hotels are at, but I don't know that I would put you. If I didn't send for you, I'm not going to put you up. And if you just pop up, oh, hey, I miss you so much. I'm going to tell you where the best ones is at. Uh, now, if I send for you, I'm already had that taken care of. Um, and for, for people who feel like, you know, oh, that means she's insecure. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I don't think it means insecure. I just think it means I ain't got time for all that extra stuff. I feel like this is a perfect move for someone who especially sleeps hard. Now me, I hear grass grow and it wake me up. If my husband blink, I'm going to wake up because what is all that noise? But if you sleep hard and you don't know what be going on while you sleep, well, baby, hey, the hotel it is. Hotel it is. I'm just saying things happen in the middle of the night. Your man could get thirsty and go to the kitchen. All he wanted is some orange juice. Next thing you know, your homegirl, she took the titties. Oh, I didn't know you was in here. 
we could avoid all of that. Again, I just think she's being precautious. It's just like wearing your seatbelt. Like I don't, I don't, I don't anticipate a wreck. I don't think I'm going to have a wreck, but just in case I am faced with something like that, let me put my seatbelt on. And yes, seatbelt have a K on it. Mm -hmm. Now I will say, um, I don't have any friends that would even need to stay the night with me. Uh, but my cousins have stayed the night with me and uh, I've never thought anything about, I, I ain't never even, I'm never. Now, if you can have all your friends around your man and you never have a second thought about it, you never become insecure, you never suspect anything and that works for you guys, then great, that's awesome. But I'm saying for the women who say, nah, I don't even want you around my man, all I'm saying is, is nothing wrong with being precautious. I will say everybody don't want your man. Somebody want him. I mean, other than you, somebody, but everybody, everybody don't. Some of you, <laughs> and some of y'all have confided so much about your man. You might well let all your friends around because they don't want him no way. Cause, cause he got you hollering. He got you crying. You might well just, you might well let them move in. Cause <laughs> they, they, they'll never touch him. They'll never want him. But they might. So, you know, it's just it's just best to be safe. Anyway, as always, I want to hear from you guys. Tell me what you think. Like, if you had a friend come in from out of town, is it okay for that friend to stay with you and your husband or significant other? Or does that person have to stay in a hotel? Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. This is your girl, EJ, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.